Welcome to Rex Plains TV. I'm Angie Walker. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. And now for our school mission statement. We the Patriots achieve greatness through high expectations passion and perseverance thank you you may now be seated today is monday january 31st 2022 now let's take a rain break hey it's my turn to use the ipad give it to me right now stop hogging it do you think that this is a nice or polite way to ask for something no i won't give it to you because now you're being mean fine Hey, can I please use the iPad, or maybe we can use it together, please? Yeah, sure. Come on. Wow. You see how Joshua was nicer than Randy, and Joshua was the one who got to use the iPad? This is a good example of how you should ask for something. So tune in next time for our next Brain Break and STL Technique. See you soon. Now, let's go to Scott for today's sports highlights. Thanks, Angeli. Sports fans, our boys basketball team played their first game last Thursday. We lost with a score of 44-23, to but this is just the beginning. I have confidence that our future holds many wins. On another note, welcome back to Sports Equipment Origins. Today, we take a look at one sporting equipment that is being used a lot this week all over most of the U.S., the snowboard. Similar to a surfboard, the rider stands on a board with both feet fixed a little wider than shoulder length apart and glides downhill on snow. Funny enough, it was invented in the 60s by an engineer in Michigan who made a toy for his daughters by fastening two skis together and guiding them on it downhill. He first called it the Snurfer and it soon caught on. After being commercially produced in just 10 years, over a million were sold. Snurfing or snowboarding is one of the cool things we would do in Florida if only we could trade the sun for snow. Now let's go to Sonia for the lunch report. Thank you, Scott. Today's lunch is... Pizza dippers, marinara sauce, corn, applesauce, and your choice of milk. Don't forget to let your teachers know if you will be receiving lunch today. Put up a seat. Let's go back to Angelique. Thank you, Sonia. Scholars, you can now join the National Junior Honor Society. This is only for 7th grade and 8th graders. The minimum requirements are high GPA and an excellent record of behavior in and out of school. Applications are due this Friday, February 7th. Try to get your applications in before it's too late. We're getting ready for our glow party. There's going to be a great DJ, fun party games, and it's going to be a glow testing experience. This challenge ends by March 11th, so let's get those lessons done, and I can't wait to get my glow on. The Terrific Hero store is open. The store is open from 7.15 a.m. to 7.55 a.m. 7.15 is one of the best times to go because there's no lines. The Hero Store is in room 114. Tomorrow, it's 3rd and 4th graders' turn to go to the Hero Store. Make sure to get there early. Now, let's see what the weather is going to be like today with Aiden. Thank you, Angeli. Hey, Patriots. Today's weather is 71 degrees Fahrenheit and mostly sunny. If you have a pool in your area, now's a great time to jump in. In other weather news, have you ever heard of a sea smoke? Sea smoke forms when cold air mixes with warm waters. It rarely happens in Florida since it's a subtropical climate. Fun fact, sea fog is also influenced by the presence of sea crystals. If you see this phenomenon, make sure to take a picture. It won't be there very long. Now let's go Chanel and Destiny for Hot Topic. Thank you, David. Hey, Patriots. Welcome to Hot, Hot Topic. Topic. I'm Destiny. And I'm Chanel. And here's what's trending this week. Hotel Transylvania Transformania was released January 14th, but still has amazing rates. Van Helsing creates a weird machine that turns the spooky crew into humans. That looks great. Hey car fans, you won't believe what's happening to Tesla stock. It's recently been reported that Tesla stock is running low due to the crazy purchases. Well, we'll just have to have hope. 
A new game has arrived. Splatoon 3 doesn't have a release date, but it's rumored to be released in 2022. Splatoon is a third-person game where you play as a paintballer running around town. My favorite is story mode. Even though Valentine's Day is practically three weeks away, stores have already set up and are selling your favorite chocolates and stuffed animals. Chocolate is the best gift. That's it, Patriots. Now let's go to Valencia for the birthdays. Thank you, Chanel and Destiny. Today's birthday boys and girls are Isenia Gonzalez, Andres Ponce, Amy Fonte, and Mila Patu. Happy birthday. Let's go to our spotlight segment featuring our art teacher, Ms. Tolentino. Good morning, Patriots. Welcome to our spotlight with our art teacher, Ms. Tolentino. Hi, I'm Ms. Tolentino. All right, now let's get to the questions. What does art mean to you? Art means many things for me. It means passion, creativity, life, and many more. But it all sums to something that is wonderful. What inspired you to become an art teacher? I am dyslexic. I had trouble in school, um, learning how to spell, learning how to read. So I had to do something that I was strong in. So a lot of my teachers pushed me to be an artist and influenced me to do something that I had passion in. And art is something I'm passionate and I'm good at. So I decided to take that track as a career. As an art teacher, what is your goal for your students this year? I want them to be motivated in life and love what they do. It's not just art, just love any career that they're interested in. Um, I could show them different avenues that they could go and have as a career in art. But I want them to be inspired that art is everything in life, from the colors that you see to the people that you interact with. You could create that into interpretation, into a wonderful art piece. That's amazing. Are there any inspiring stories that you have about your past students that you would like to share with us? I do have a story of a student that he was from Venezuela. He didn't speak no English. Um, I decided to give a assignment to the students of um, making a presentation of the artwork that they have created. Uh, the student went up to the front of the classroom, um, prepared for a week, and decided to speak English and give his presentation. That gave me such a wonderful feeling. Um, after that, he went off to high school and then college, and now um, he came and visited me the other day, and he informed me that he is an architect. So art did move his life in the right direction into a career that made him money. Thank you, Ms. Solentino, for painting us a wonderful portrait of your life. Scholars, here are your past expectations. Fair present, present yourself positively, act kindly towards others, treat the school's environment respectfully, and succeed at everything. Now for last week's trivia winners. Congrats to Miss I Am Dinkwa. You were the only one who had the correct answer to Friday's trivia question, which was, where can you find the world's longest haunted house? The correct answer is New Mexico. Teachers and scholars, here's today's trivia question. What type of bird can do math? Teachers, please send your answers to pinesartrenaissance at gmail.com before 10 a.m. in order for your response to be reviewed. Everyone at RPTV would like to wish you all a marvelous Monday. And don't forget, this year we're all about fundamentals and forward focus. Have a great day!